get to know my next guest, Antoine Antoinette Love, an incredible self-taught baking enthusiast and contestant on ABC's The Great American Baking Show. Today, she and I discuss her amazing story, exquisite dishes, and new online series, Recipes for Conversations. Antoine Antoinette, welcome to The Chandria Show. How are you today? I'm wonderful, beautiful. How are you? Yes, you are wonderful. <laughs> Let's dive on in and get to know you, my dear. So you appeared on season two and three of ABC's hit show, The Great American Baking Show. Tell me about the show and what you value most from that experience. Sure. Okay, so the show, the premise of the show is that we're these amateur bakers and you go through all these series of auditions to make it like the final 10 best amateur bakers in the country and they fly you over to England to film and you film in this big, huge white tent in the field in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's on, it's called, it's a Pinewood studio. It's a studio, a set that we're filming at. But if you're familiar with the Great, Amer the Great British Bake Off, mm -hmm. it's the American version of that show. So if that, I had a chance to do that. I did it two years in a row um, because the first year when I went, uh, my father had a massive heart attack and he passed away. So I had to leave the show, um, of course, you know, I wasn't able to complete the competition. And then ABC flew me back for the third season to compete again. And I wound up being a semifinalist on that show. So yeah, I got to do two seasons in a row. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a, and, and what do you value most from that experience? Oh, wow, okay. So what I value most from that experience is that it taught me to pursue purpose. Yeah, be, before I went for the show, my dad um, had a pep talk with me because what people don't know is that when I came back, I didn't have a job. I just took a huge leap and did the show and left and said, hey, they chose you out of thousands, go for it and came back home to nothing. You know, and, and then also losing my father, coming back and not even having my father. So going through all of the turmoil with that and you know going through my grieving process I just had to learn Chandria that if I had stayed in my seat where I was in my corporate corporate America job I was frustrated you know my dad would have left here seeing me in the same frustrated position but because I chose to pursue purpose my dad left here watching me soar that was his last memory of me so I would say my my memory from the show is it just taught me that I need to pursue purpose mm -hmm. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. And I know he's continually smiling down and proud of everything that you've accomplished and everything that you will do. So, you know, that's awesome. Um, I'm curious though, what inspired your love of baking? Um, oh, and, wow. you know, and you're self-taught at that. I'm so impressed by you. What inspired okay. that? <laughs> so what really inspired it was, you know, the time when everybody started doing pers the cakes that look like objects that's what drew me to it. I'm an artist. So I wanted to do like the 3D cakes, the shoes and, you know, the, the Gucci belt cakes and stuff like that. I really love part of it. But when I did I learned, I love the bakes. I, 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 was trying to listen. I only know how to make a Let's go back a second. You were broke, breaking up a little bit when you were explaining the cakes. Oh, no, um, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. You said the Gucci. As soon as you said Gucci belts, it just, I'll, I'll pose the question again, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. Okay. So I ask you this, um, what inspired your love for baking and, and you're self-taught as well. I'm so impressed by you. How'd you learn your way around the kitchen? Sure. So literally it started with a love for art. You know, there was a time when, you know, everybody started coming out with the fancy cakes that were 3D that looked like purses or shoes and Gucci belts. I fell in love with it because I it, it was artistry for me. But when I did the show, I fell in love with the baking side, which is totally different. <laughs> so that's how it started for me. The love for art. Yeah. Love for art turn into you teaching you like I'm going to learn I mean that I, I see a theme of determination and driving you throughout this story so far you know and so now I understand you graduated from Langston University and you spent more than 20 years in in the corporate healthcare industry you know when mm -hmm. did you know that you could embark on a career in baking when did you know this that I could do this as a career this okay, is so what you had already been doing it started out with just me baking for family and friends. And then it started to grow and grow. And the more I wanted to pull away from it, the more it kept pursuing me. 
So it literally, you know, when you have to decide the career or your passion, it was, it started to compete with my career. Like I was spending nights, literally there was, there was times when I would be up for 48 hour periods where having to go to a corporate America job and then having to go home and bake a cake. So really it just got to the point where I had to make a choice. I was forced to make a choice. But I, I like what you did. Though. You kept the job. You maintain the job while you build out on the passion. You build out on the business. And then I, it seems to me outside looking in that it made more for a more smooth transition. Yes. And I had a daughter, too. I was a single mother. So I definitely needed the daytime job while I was building up the clientele. You know, most people say just leap for me. I was like, wait a minute. I have a child. I'm a single mom. That leap might look a little different for me. <laughs> You had to be strategic about that leap. Okay, so I read, I read that, I'm sorry, I read that your baking journey led you down the pathway to bake goods for many professional athletes and well-known recording artists, including Snoop Dogg, and your work was featured on VH1's Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. What has been your proudest achievement as a celebrity baker thus far? Wow, wow. I, I, don't, I can't even name just one, all of them, because all of them have been like special moments where encounters where I've made cakes for Molly Music, you know, going old school for Loose Ends, you know, some of my dad's favorite artists, Frankie Beverly and Maze. I got to meet Frankie Beverly and make a white hat cake for him, you know, so I can't even like all of my experiences have been great because they've all offered something different for me. I can't even say which one. Now, the Snoop Dogg one was the most interesting one. <laughs> that was a whole situation but yeah all of them have been special for me so how does a, a celebrity says okay I mean obviously your referral game is strong <laughs> so you know do you have complete creative control or even in the Snoop case what did he did he say what he wanted or how does how does that work sometimes is it always up to you to decide creatively or do people come with ideas and then you just bring it to life Really, all of them have all trusted me. It's all, they've all come to the table and say, you just do your thing, be creative, we trust you. I've never had any stipulations on anything for me. So, you know, I just research pages, go and look at their life and try to bring something about their life out in the artistry of the cake. Well, That's I'm excited about all that you were doing. Tell me what's in store for your new online series called Recipes for Conversations. Yes, I'm so excited to talk about Recipe for Conversations. So one day I was in my kitchen and baking and I started putting all these ingredients together and putting it and mixing it together. And then it just hit wow, recipes are like people. You know, all of us have our own recipe. All of us have our own ingredients that make us who we are. And it just hit recipe for conversation. So it's all about me sitting down with amazing people and then hopefully maybe one day amazing people like you, where literally it's about you, where we discuss you, you are the recipe. We discuss everything about Shandria, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that makes you who you are and how it all comes together, how your story comes together to where you are today. Yeah, so it's basically an inspirational show to inspire people and using other people's lives and other people's stories to inspire people. Oh, I'm so in love with that. And that is amazing that you would, you know, out, out of all of your strengths, out of all of your talents and your gifts that you would use your platform to inspire others. So kudos to you on everything that you've accomplished thus far, everything you will do. There is greatness in you. And I want to thank, thank you for you. being my special guest today on the Shundria Show. What is the best way for us to follow your journey or connect with you online? Sure. Online on Instagram, I'm Antoine Antoinette. The website is AntoineAntoinette.com. So I'm Antoine Antoinette everywhere. <laughs> All right. Brand, she is branded. <laughs>